afternoon. My name's Dennis Orgel. I'm a plastic surgeon at Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston and at Harvard Medical School. I'm happy today to discuss the paper, Lymphedema and Obesity, Is There a Link? Lymphedema is a very interesting issue which we face in plastic surgery. Many of our patients have this and many solutions are being developed today. I first appreciated the link between obesity and lymphedema when Borenson from Sweden published his studies showing that in lymphedematous arms there were a lot of fat cells present. The authors here explore this link and review the literature. The first thing they noticed was that the risk of lymphedema, for example, after a mastectomy is increased in women who have obesity. This is very interesting because it's not exactly obvious what in obesity causes uh, the lymphedema to occur. The second observation they noticed was that in patients with severe obesity, lymphedema was present. And they've confirmed the observations that others have made in their MRI and figure one of the paper, where they show on the lymphedematous side much more fat in the subcutaneous tissue than there is on the contralateral side. Lymphedema is very interesting to us as plastic surgeons. We do free flaps all the time. In the many free flaps that I have performed over the years, I have only had one that developed significant lymphedema. In discussing this with my colleagues, they also report a low rate. So we're able to do free flaps where presumably all the lymphatics are cut and they somehow regenerate or their lymphaticovenous connections within the flap that occur. Certainly, very much more research needs to be done to do this. They explore the cellular mechanisms of lymphedema formation in a variety of hypotheses. There are genes such as the PROX1 gene which may be involved. They also explore the hypothesis of lymphatic injury le leading to lymphatic dysfunction which then leads to lymphedema. In summary, the authors review the literature on the link between obesity and lymphedema. There are many hypotheses which they review and are currently under investigation. One thing they did not mention is the importance of mechanical forces. We find both in lymphedematous tissue and in obesity that the interstitial pressure can be elevated. We know that in our obese patients that intra-abdominal pressure is elevated. So there may be a relationship on a pure mechanical end that there, uh, the lymphatics are obstructed from the pressure in the tissue. In summary, this is an excellent article with a careful review of the literature. It points out how much we know, but also how much we don't know, and that much research will help us understand lymphedema and obesity in the future. I believe that through this understanding, we will be able to improve our reconstructive armamentarium, not only in treating lymphedematous patients, but also understanding better how we do things such as flaps and skin grafts in plastic surgery. Thank you very much, and I hope you uh, all enjoyed the article as much as I did.